Okay, how much Halloween candy did you guys get? Uh, kids. Did we get? Uh, not as much as I expected. Our kids, our kids enjoyed, they loved handing it out way more than getting it, so <laughs> that's definitely not from my genes. How was the experience of walking around the neighborhood? It was awesome. It was awesome. It was a short trip. We didn't we probably hit maybe a dozen houses, but I but, uh, uh, had some fun and went back and passing it out was their highlight. Did you wear a costume or were you going in civilian clothes? Uh, <laughs> civilian clothes, yeah. Out scheduled this week. How do you feel like everybody handled themselves the last couple of days and then coming in the day is on Monday? We had, a, we had a really, really good, we had our best Monday of the year. Um, and so uh, hopefully that's, that's evidence that uh, guys managed their, their schedule okay and taking advantage of the extra rest uh, today and then obviously with the, the extra hour tonight, hopefully we'll, we'll utilize that to the, in, in the best of its, uh, to the best of our ability and, and have another great day tomorrow. Mark, when you talk about that, having your best your best Monday, what is that? What does that mean exactly? Well, I think it's a combination of factors. I think we, we our, our energy was really good. Our execution for, this is the day you're obviously installing a, a bunch of stuff that's, that's new. Um, and so, you know, anytime you do that, there's a possibility of some, some lag. And we didn't execute perfectly by any stretch, but just your tempo, your energy, your pace, and, and certainly your, your execution, I think, are all factors of that. Uh, our special teams effort was was really good, um, and I think you know we're trying. To, obviously, this time of year, there's every everybody's everybody's dinged up. Everybody is, and, and when you get your guys that are that are dinged up with with great energy, uh, executing at their their you know not optimum but close to it level, that's good. I don't know if easy is the proper word, but how much easier is it to scout Hogan this year, given that last year he only had one career start coming into the game? you guys facing there was limited game film versus now you've got right. a plethora of it yeah I mean you've got yeah you've got the game film the thing that they do well on on both sides of the ball and, and really in, in special teams as well as they game plan specifically for you know the opponent of the week and so some of those things you can you can certainly you know do your normal kind of tendencies and all that stuff but some of it they, they're all over the map you know in a, in a, and I mean that as a compliment uh, uh, they do a great job of game planning for your protections on, on defense, for your tendencies and coverage. Uh, you can tell they really do a great job in, in special teams of studying. Hey, you know these guys make the tackles, these guys are the safeties, what you know, whatever it may be. Um, and then certainly offensively, I would say is the, the same thing. A couple your, teams do it all. What's yeah. your sense of the team regarding faceless opponent? Stanford handed you your last loss. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this game. Did you get a sense that they've been able to maintain that sort of composure? I think so. I think so. Again, you know, we, like we talked about the other day, if, if, if our guys use last year as a motivational factor to, to practice how we did today, we'll take it. You know, I, th I think we didn't we didn't play very well last year. Uh, certainly offensively or in special teams on defense, we played we played well enough to win. Uh, but you know, that that doesn't count. Uh, and so I think any you know any external motivation that we use to prepare, great. Marcus said Stanford's faceless opponent for him, like a great opponent, but he admitted he has a little bit of a chip on, on his shoulder. Have you seen him, any evidence of that? Again, he practiced really well today. So uh, again, you know, if that's if that's the motivating factor, that's awesome. I think I, you know, if any, you know, if more than anything, we didn't play very well. Didn't play our best. Didn't play uh, hard, which was very uncharacteristic of our team last year. Uh, and offensively, I'm specifically talking about. And so I think all those guys, you know, again, there might be a little something on their shoulder. I don't know. Can you pinpoint what the product of that is? No. No, that's the. Tough part about it sometimes. Having faced a couple of teams, I think Washington, UCLA, a couple of opponents that played Stanford the week before, does that help you? I mean, at this point, did you get any extra look at them? A little bit, but when you're doing that, it, it's more like, hey, the offensive guys are telling the defensive guys something, or, or vice versa, because you're you're watching, you know, the other side. Sure. You're watching. If I'm if I'm Nick Aliotti, I'm watching, you know, watching Stanford's defense against those opponents. You know what I mean? And so it doesn't necessarily help you. I think special teams is the place where that crossover is, is the most readily kind of uh, available. You guys face a lot of good receivers this year. Is Ty Montgomery unique in how he's done it receiving and on special teams? Yeah, he's, a matchup he's, he's definitely a tough matchup. He's, he's a tough guy. He's a heavy runner in the return game, which you know, a lot of those guys that, that, that are as dynamic as him, you can maybe arm tackle or get him down, and that's not the case with him. He's a, he's a tough guy, runs through a lot of tackles. Uh, is a good blocker um, and, and goes up and gets, you know, goes up and gets the ball in, on the offensive side. So he's he's the package.
Are you at all surprised that it seems like they go away a little bit more from their tight ends this year? Obviously, Ertz leaves and they have a couple of good tight ends leave, but yeah, I I don't know. You know, that's hard to get in, inside their head. If we could if we could pick out what they do, that'd, be, that'd make things a lot easier. Right. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, they're they're an outstanding team. They're a complete team, and we need to be ready to rock. Is so a chip on your shoulder at all as as coaching staff? Does that bother you that you guys? I mean, it's one of the, obviously one of your few losses. In I think in, you know, anytime you don't, anytime you don't compete to the best of your ability, absolutely, absolutely, um, and that's something our guys have done for the most part. They've done an outstanding job of that, um, and, and trying to figure that out. That's one of those things that's a never-ending chase, you know. So we've we've, we've tried to to rework our our bye week. We've reworked our our season kind of long-term planning a little bit differently, just to hopefully be as fresh as confident in all those things that you want to do going into a game like this and then we've got we've got a few more after that so do you put that on your shoulder you said you couldn't pinpoint why they didn't play hard last year do you just put that on your shoulders as a coaching staff sure anytime it doesn't go well it's it's on us you know and and you can you can blame your players all, all you want and that's gonna that would get you absolutely nowhere um our, our players our players again the, i guess the best thing that we did today is we had a great practice today and so that's that you know that they're in the right frame of mind. I thought we were fresh, we we're well conditioned, you know, for, for this time of year. Um, and so that's a, that's a great start. What kind of the changes that you were just referring to in terms of the bye week? What, what kind of changes did you have? Did you make? Oh, just kind of some of the things of, of how much with which groups of guys. Um, uh, when we started installing our plans a little bit differently, I can't remember exactly how how. Uh, I can't remember when, when did this game fall last year? Was it like after SC or? Yeah. It was like 10 or 11, like game 10 or 11. Second to last game. So, yeah, I would have to go back and, and look at exactly what we, what we did differently. But they're, you know, they're in the same exact boat as far as a little extra time to, to heal up and prepare. So, we'll see.